The High School Sports Insider rolls along. Thanks for running shotgun with us. We often throw around the term hero very loosely in high school sports. In the case of Marshall Keith Thomas from Akron Kenmore Garfield High School, the term fits. Keith Thomas acted with poise and courage in the face of a dangerous fire, thinking of others before himself. Marshall Keith Thomas, our Ohio Lottery Partners in Education, shining star. Not all heroes wear capes. Some put on shoulder pads and make tackles. Marshall Keith Thomas was on his way to football practice at Kenmore Garfield High School, waiting for the first of two buses he takes to the field. When his mother, Catherine, called, telling him she got an alert that their house was on fire and his nephew, Andrew Simmons, was sleeping. After running three blocks, Marshall went into action. Actually, I was kind of nervous. I was like shocked too. I'm like, wait, hold on, our house on fire. I'm like, what? So, yeah, I'm like, whoa, I ain't know what to do. I just stopped and, and ran back home as fast as I could. It was just our, our kitchen part, but then, but like, through our, our whole house, it was smoky and everything. I'm glad I made it in time. I grabbed him up, I took him outside and put it out. After that, he waited for the fire department to come. Once the situation was under control, he became Marshall Keith Thomas, the junior two-way lineman for the Rams. Went in the house, smoke all that type of stuff to go rescue his nephew. So um, after telling me all that, the kid walks out of the locker room and he begins to run his laps because that's our standard when you're late for practice. So he's just running. I blew the whistle and had a team come over and I told them the story. Um, while I'm telling them the story, Marshall's still running. Like Marshall doesn't come over. And so I had to literally tell Marshall, hey man, come over here. And I had his mom tell that story and um, Man, the uh, amount of respect that I think came from our team and just giving him a round of applause was just awesome. The fact that Marshall didn't look at himself as anything more than a football player spoke volumes to not only his teammates, but his coaches as well. If I was in the position, I don't know if I'd do what he did. I'm, you know, he's very brave and I don't know if I'm that, that level of brave as him. He has transformed himself to say, hey, I want to be this person and he's accepted, I think, our correction as coaches and the correction of the program to say, okay, if this is what you tell me I need to do in order to become this, then I'm willing to do it. So I think it speaks to just who he, how he's grown and who he is as a person. And two, but this is something that he's been displaying to us all summer. I mean, for a kid to take two buses just to get to practice after work, I mean, you just don't find that. You know, and mind you, he didn't miss a day. He's the last one in the weight room because even though he shows up late, he still goes back and gets his weightlifting session in after we get out of practice. Just don't tell Marshall he did anything out of the ordinary. If he had to do it all over again, he wouldn't change a thing. It wasn't a big deal to me, but to everybody else it was a big deal. But I don't, I don't really feel like a hero, but I guess in your eyes I am. If you know a student who deserves recognition, we want to hear about them, and you can now nominate them completely online. It's easy and fast. Go to OhioLottery.com, find the About section, then click on Partners in Education. There you'll see the links to nomination forms. Nominate the student as an academic all-star, and they could end up featured on the High School Sports Insider as one of our shining stars.